I see it now. Why you've come to me. You're filled with the most pollutant of forces, stuffed so full it's suffocating you, leaving a stain on every surface it grazes. Jealousy. A bitter, broken being. One instinct to destroy, like a beast. Let this be known to you, foolish one. The solution you desire is a means to an end to silence the ripples you've left in the water. Your hatred will be your downfall. Molly? What happened? Miss Elizabeth, it's Molly! She needs your help! Here, let me see what happened, Molly. that. Will she live? <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be just fine, Molly. See, Molly? Everything's okay now! <laughs> you two were brave to come all this way. Well, when Molly got hurt, I knew I had to take her to Marwood's best healer. There's nothing I wouldn't do for my little sister. <laughs> She's lucky to have such a strong older brother. There. How's that, Molly? Feel better? Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Miss Beth! Wow, your cottage looks fully this time! <laughs> you don't say. It hasn't changed since yesterday. Where did you even get all this stuff? This thing's weird. I thought I heard voices in here. Prince Vincent. What a pleasant surprise. It is, isn't it? <laughs> you smell funny. Children! How charming. Molly, that is no way to address your future king. Or your future queen. Is this silk or just plain fabric? Don't you little worms have another nest you can burrow into? I think that's enough for today, children. Why don't you go play? <laughs> okay, Miss Beth! Bye, Miss Beth! <laughs> and how is the dainty Elizabeth doing this fine morning? I'm doing well, sire. What brings you back to my cottage so soon? Dear sweet Eliza, how many times do I have to tell you just call me Vincent? <clears throat> I do believe that would be indecent, Your Majesty. Why have you come? Do I really need a reason? Can't I just come to see the most beautiful lady in all of Morrowood? You flatter me, sire. Indeed. Your Majesty, new traps are being built down at Hickory Meadow. We need to keep moving if we are to reach them by noon. <sighs> well, love to stay and chat, but duty calls. 
Oh, why the sour face? Don't worry, doll. That beast can't hide forever. The people of Marrowood all know the tragedy befallen of the royal family many years ago. I've heard it from Prince Vincent countless times before. You see, Vincent had a younger brother once. Prince Aaron. He was brutally murdered one night in his bedchambers, for a mysterious beast had broken into the castle, slaughtering him. Nobody knows what the beast was or where it came from. Only that it killed young Aaron and vanished without a trace. Some say the beast was a creature of magic and others believe it to be a ghost. Still, Vincent spends every waking hour searching for it, even after all these years. But if the story is true, if there really is a beast out there. I'm certain it's long gone by now. Why am I hearing about this now? Captain, is what they say true? Yes, sire. Well, n no, sire. Make up your mind, then! I'm sorry. A footprint was spotted, but we aren't sure if it belongs to the beast. I sent soldiers out- Do you know how long I've been looking for this monster? I have to kill it. I need to kill it. For my poor, dear brother, Aaron, I must avenge his death. Might it be in vain? I won't stop until I have its head on a stake. I would desire nothing more myself, sire. I want you to double the patrols, double the traps, double everything! The beast must be more active at night. We stake out at dusk. The beast is here in Morrowood? You heard the captain. It could be anything. Don't get your whiskers in a tangle. I can't help but worry. Especially for dear Beth. She lives in the spine. Don't worry about her. Beth lived in those woods for many years. I'm sure she'll be just fine. Just the wind. Oh, I'm being paranoid. Molly, Arthur, 
What are you children doing here? Don't you know what time it is? We were playing out in the woods, but it got dark so quickly. We thought we heard the beast. Yeah, and Molly got scared to walk back alone. I wasn't scared, though. Uh, your parents must be worried sick. You really shouldn't be out this late. Come with me then, children. Let's get you back home. Stay beside me now. out here. Probably not until that creature's head is severed, bleeding out on the forest floor. You know what sounds good right about now? Lamb chops. Mm-hmm. Gregory, you simple-minded fool. Buttered biscuits, rice pudding, Mabel's cherry sauce on some toasted Bread. You imbeciles! Stop thinking with your stomachs and stay alert, or I will have to settle for your heads bleeding out on the forest floor. Sire, news from the Falcon Hollow. A trap has been set off. What? Are you certain it's a beast? I... I can't be certain. I've never heard such a screeching from a living creature before. Come on then, men! Let's rid this land of the vile creature once and for all! For Morrowood! Bye, Miss Beth! Thanks for protecting Molly! You can't stay indoors now. Why do you have to be such a coward? Uh, no, I I'm not a coward. Well, maybe just the slightest bit, but there is no beast. At least, not anymore. I'm going to get home safely and enjoy my tea, just like every other night. Besides, I know these woods like the back of my paw. Nothing here is going to spook me.
We're stopping? I was told there was a beast here, William. A stinky, smelly, nasty beast. So where is it? Well, uh, I do believe beforehand I had specified there might be one, sire. There's enough blood here for one, I'd wager. Oh, that is absolutely horrendous! Peter, how can you look at that gruesome sight so calmly? William, give me one good reason why I shouldn't slice that shriveled head of yours on the spot for this incompetence. I... I'm certain we, um, we don't need to resort to such, um, violence. Uh, certainly the, the beast couldn't have um, gotten that far. So where is it? Did it grow little wings and fly away like a little bird? Honestly, it's not completely ridiculous considering what we're chasing after. Mm. <laughs> Peter, put that 116 IQ to good use, eh? Perhaps this way, sire. Foliage does have a subtle way of pointing a direction. <laughs> Your foot... It's bleeding. I need to mend it. Either. Oh no, not now. Elizabeth, open this door. Sire, what are you doing here at this time of night? Have you heard anything unusual? Seen anything strange? Uh, strange, sire. Please say no. I'm tired of chasing shadows all night. Quiet. How cruel you are, Peter. Oh. <sighs> I have reason to believe the beast is around this area. If you see anything suspicious, you come to me. The beast? Here. In these very woods? Don't worry, dear Eliza. Come with me back to the palace, where no sickening, ugly, and rather slippery monsters will be able to find you. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Uh, what was that? Though your offer is... thoughtful, my place is here. I can still smell its blood, so fresh in my mind. It's like it's even stronger. I'll let you know if I see anything. Oh yes, but... Uh... Right then. 
Looks like I'm stuck with you useless clods as company on the walk home. Ugh, finally! I could sleep for weeks after this dreadful night. Weeks? How unfortunate for you. I heard Mabel's cooking up a brunch tomorrow morning. She mentioned deviled eggs, jam and biscuits, fresh goat milk. All right, all right, all right. Well, maybe I could sleep for a few hours, wake up for a bit, and then sleep for weeks. <laughs> I'll find you yet, vermin. Hello. You must be the beast. Uh, what is your name? Can... Can you understand me? You must be hungry. Please, eat. So, you don't have a name then? Or you don't remember? Well, I can't go around calling you the beast. Uh, how about something temporary? Like... like Noah. No? Uh... Okay, um... Romeo. Uh, perhaps not. Hmm. How about Spine? After the woods. Spine it is, then. Good. Good. Uh, well... I suppose my next question would be... Are you the beast that... killed Prince Aaron? Prince... Aaron? I wouldn't... I wouldn't... I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't... Uh, I don't... I, I can't remember, please. I wouldn't hurt anyone! Spine? Does... 
Is that normal? Does that happen often, or... Or only when you get worked up? <sighs> it's okay. Uh, I'll help you figure this out. How long have you been a beast? I don't know what would have caused this. I've never seen anything like you before. Unless... Cursed. You must be cursed. Have you ever encountered a witch? Drank some sort of potion? Uh, oh, right. Can't remember. Sorry. Well, my knowledge of curses is limited, but there is a remedy here. <coughs> yes. I just need to find all these ingredients. Oh, dear. This might be a bit tougher than I thought. I have some of these herbs, but I'll need to do some searching in the spine for some of these rarer ones. Huh. Look here. If you drink the potion in the light of the blue moon, the spell will be lifted, and your curse will be gone. Blue moon, blue moon. <gasps> Aha! The blue moon. It appears once every hundred years. Ugh. Let's not give up yet. Let me just see when the next one will appear. Um... <sighs> what luck. Tomorrow night. A blue moon. The first in a century. <sighs> we don't have much time. This spell will take the majority of that time just to brew. <gasps> Mabel, is that you? Give me one moment. You need to sit in there and stay silent. <laughs> Mabel, what a surprise to see you here. A surprise? I waddle along here almost every noon. Gee, do you need some special herbs of yours to spark up that memory again? I, I believe it was... Hmm. Ha! Ah, ginkgo leaf, yes. Your wit is as sharp as ever. What can I do for you? Is that hip bothering you again? My hips are as right as rain. I was just dropping by to check in you weren't eaten by the beast yet. <laughs> beast? Oh, what beast? I, uh, I don't see a beast. <laughs> ah, calm down there, dear. You're more nervous than a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. I really came to give you a taste of these delicious goji berry biscuits. You should have come to my brunch this morning. Oh, how kind of you, Mabel. You really didn't have to come all this way just for that. Who else is going to feed you, little lady? You're practically all skin and bones under that corset. Her men these days have changed, Beth. They like a little extra meat on their women. I'm sure you're right, Mabel. Well... I'd love to stay and gossip about what those fine gentlemen said at my brunch, but I'd have to head home now. I need to prepare for this marvellous new recipe for my dinner party this evening. Huh? I heard some clattering noises. Miss Beth, do you have some sort of strange critter living in your walls? <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Listen here, child. My ears may not be what they used to, but I know a ruckus when I hear one. It was somewhere over here. Mabel, hmm. don't you have that dinner party to prepare for? You really should get ahead of that midday sun. Hush, child. You're only piquing my interest more with your yammering. Uh -huh. No, don't open that. Sorry.
sorry, dearie. I didn't realize that Beth had company. Uh, that's all right, Mabel. Are you quite all right, child? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Don't worry about him, Mabel. He's just fine. How rude of you, Beth. You have yet to introduce me. Him? Uh, well, he's, uh, he's, he's, well, he's hmm? my long-lost childhood friend. Uh, Spine. Yes, Spine. Uh, just came in late last night. He's here for a visit. Y yeah. Childhood friend, you say? Well, Spine, you look like a fine chap. Nice to meet ya. Well, I'm sure you're just as nice and golly as Beth dear is. Well, she's so lovely, isn't she? And quite pretty, too. Uh, all right, Mabel. Uh, I really do have to insist that you leave. Um, I wouldn't want you to run out of time before your dinner party. Of course, dearest Beth. I can take a hint. <laughs> I'll give you two some time alone. <laughs> Uh, sorry about her. What a strange creature. <laughs> well, it's good she didn't see you in your other form. We best get started on that potion right away before any other mishaps can occur. All I need is uh, just a basket. Um, right, um, I have to go collect the herbs on this list. Uh, I'll be an hour or so. Uh, uh, Will you be fine on your own? I want to come with you. Uh, oh, uh... Uh... Alright. Okay, uh, we should start looking for the more common herbs first. Mimosa and marigold, they'll be easier to find. Oh, uh, do you know what they look like? <laughs> That's alright. I'll show you what to look for. Uh, come, let's see if we can find the mimosa. Alright, so I, I guess the mimosa has fern-like leaves, uh, prickly stems, and pink fluffy flowers. It's mainly used for stress relief and mental calmness. Some even like to call it the happiness bark and flowers it helps with normalizing one's mood. Ah! Oh, there it is! How do you know all this? Well, healing has been a passion of mine for years. Even when I was young. As I grew older, I learned more about specific herbs and plants that have medical properties, how to mend cuts and broken bones. Eventually, I just became Mara Wood's healer. Do we need more of... Oh, uh, the mimosa? Uh, no, this should be plenty. Uh, yes, okay, so, uh, next is the marigold. There should be some... this way, if I remember. And that makes... 47. <laughs> The last one should be around here somewhere. Look, there she is! Oh. Miss Beth! <laughs> <laughs> you two seem to always find me. We wanted to thank you for treating Molly. Yeah, I feel a lot better. Thank you, Miss Beth. Well, you're very welcome. Hey, who's that? Oh, oh silly me. Uh, Arthur, Molly, uh, I'd like you to meet my friend, Spine. Uh, Spine, this is Arthur and Molly. Uh... Spine has come to visit and will be staying with me for a while. Spine? That's a funny name. How do you know Miss Beth? How long are you staying with her? How old are you? What happened to your foot? Oh, Miss Beth! Is he your boyfriend? Uh, no, he's not my boyfriend, Molly. He's just a friend. <gasps> the poor thing. Its wing is injured. I need to take him back to my cottage. Uh, Spine, would you mind carrying the basket? Alright. Okay, uh, just need some of the herbal treat. What's the 
What are you doing? Hmm. All right. Look at its wing. See how twisted it is compared to the other one? So you can see some feathers missing and some blood as well. Oh, would you mind holding it? I need to gather a few things. But it's so small. Why even bother? What an awful thing to say, Mr. Spine! Ow! What was that for? Well, I like to think that all living beings feel pain and they all need care. Yeah, I'm small, but Miss Beth helped me. She's great with healing people. These herbs I offer to thee, heal the little one, so they can live free. <laughs> Come with me. What do you like to do for fun? I like to play tag and climb trees. Oh. <laughs> I prefer to play with my dolly. Do you like my dolly? Uh. He doesn't want to see your lame toy, Molly. He wants to wrestle! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you two. That's enough. Stop bothering poor Spine. Oh, okay. Now I think it's time for you two to start heading home. Your parents must be wondering where you are. But we want to play with Mr. Spine some more! You can come and play with Spine some other time. For now, you must head home. Oh, okay. Bye, Beth! See you later, Mr. Spine! Bye-bye! <laughs> it's such a funny name! <laughs> well, the potion needs a little more time to cure. Are you hungry? Alright. Uh... What do you like to eat? Those are strawberries. Have you had them before? Strawberries. My favorite. What a lovely day. Spine, won't you join me for a picnic? Picnic? <laughs>
Hmm. Look, it's mine. Uh, the cloud. What about it? It kind of looks like your beast form, wouldn't you say? I don't understand. Uh, it's a game. Why don't you go next? Just try to spot a shape in the sky. Hmm. That one. It looks like a teacup, I think. And over there, that one looks like a bluebell. <laughs> and that one beside it looks like a strawberry. <laughs> Spine. Do you have any memories? Anything that could point to who could have done this to you? I'm sorry. I really don't remember. We're going to fix it. Don't worry. As the Baron. You see, he turned to me and... Beth, darling, is that you? Uh, oh, dear. And that great blob beside you must be dearest spine. My, oh, my, these eyes aren't what they used to be. <laughs> Rachel, Mary, Mabel, out enjoying the afternoon sunlight? Certainly. Why, what brainless fool would miss such perfect weather? I'm glad you young ones have some sense these days to not squander all your time indoors. Moral words sure is beautiful today. Say, Beth, who is your friend? Mary, you might want to rattle that swollen head of yours. I told you about Spine, remember? Of course you did. Good afternoon, uh, fellow uh, villagers. How distinguished. This chap? Why, what a handsome fella! <sighs> Reminds me of my dearest Samuel in his youth. <laughs> oh, Rachel, Samuel wouldn't have had to marry a hag like you if he looked half as decent as this young man. Well, you weren't there in his prime. I'm serious, ladies. Samuel was a real charmer. <laughs> oh, Rachel, you are a hoot! <sighs> Young love, one of life's greatest treasures. Hmm, perhaps. Right after my homemade jelly-filled biscuits. You misunderstand. Uh, Spine is just visiting. Well, hun, if you're not gonna snatch him up, then I will. Strange little creature. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> The more time I spend with this chap, the more I love him! Sorry, Spine didn't get much rest last night. Got his code for Scram and go back fishing, Mary. Uh, sorry ladies, me and Spine have to go back to the cottage for some uh, official healing business. Uh, we'll see you all soon. Goodbye, dear Beth. So long, Spine. Now look, goes, you spooked them away. I'll get him next time. <laughs> Delusion doesn't suit you, Mary. I'll have you know, I'm quite the seductress. <laughs> Tell that to your five failed marriages. <laughs> <laughs> One after another, the attractive youngies keep coming. Maybe you're not entirely delusional after all, Mary. <laughs> Ladies. Ooh, you humble us, sire. What can I- We! Yes, what can we do for you? 
Right, I'm doing my rounds. I need to know if you've seen anything suspicious. No, I don't think so. Suspicious, my liege. Strange noises, smells, footprints. The beast wasn't far from here last night. Oh my, no, we haven't spotted anything. Of course you haven't. You ladies head back home. I've got enough headless chickens running around. So close to Beth's cottage, what dreadful news. I sure hope Beth and Spine stay safe out there. Spine? Yes, Beth's friend. He's visiting from out of town. What a place to stay in a time like this. What do you mean, friend? Perhaps he should- Sorry to interrupt, sire. We're heading out to the next station. Wait, what about it? Ah, <sighs> don't let me catch you out in these woods again. There's something about that one. Something that makes me want to shrivel up like a mole and slink away. Darkness of the heart, Mary, is a condition even someone as pure as Beth cannot remedy. Was that? Who? Oh, uh, Mary, Rachel, and Mabel. They're so sweet. I often find. No, the one with the fancy robes. He was standing at a distance. Oh, Vincent. He's the prince, the future king. The trap you were stuck in. Vincent was the one who laid it. A long time ago, someone killed his brother, the younger prince. Vincent thought it was you. Well, the beast, at least. It wasn't me. I didn't kill anyone, you know. I know. I believe you. Vincent, he just... He wants someone to point to. Something to blame. I don't think he cares who it is in the end. As long as someone suffers. What are these? Do they have any specific purpose? If you count fun as a purpose, then yes. These are cards. Each one has a number and a suit. Uh, the little hearts are clovers. And there's all sorts of games you can play with them. Hmm? It's a little hard to explain with words. Here, I'll show you. Um, how about... Go fish. Go fish? Yes. Here, these are your cards, and- Oh! <laughs> don't show them to me. Sorry. That's alright. Here, I'll get you some new ones. Now, the goal of this game is to collect pairs. Each card has one. Why don't you go first? <laughs> so, what did you think? I... I think I like this game. Ew. 
Is this a weapon? Oh, oh no, of course not. <laughs> this is a violin. It's used to make music. This one was my great-grandmother's. It's gorgeous and makes a beautiful sound, but I have no idea how to play. Here. This is a piano. It makes a strong sound enough to rival even the violin over there. Now this one, I do know how to play. Well, kind of badly. <laughs> It's very fun, see? Why don't you give it a try? If you think so. Mm -hmm. Hey there, Aaron. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, hey, Vincent. It's all right. I was about to finish anyway. What is it? I brought the biggest, juiciest strawberry for you. Picked fresh this morning. Whoa! I can't believe you found one this big! Anything for my little brother. fault for eating it so fast, dear brother. Be glad you finally get what you deserve, you little brat! Are you okay? You just fell. You were so absorbed in your music and you- Beth, I- I remember. I, I- I got turned into the beast. My name is Aaron. I'm Aaron. Aaron? Prince Aaron? <laughs> Aaron. You're Aaron. This is 
unbelievable, a, a miracle. The whole of Marwood thinks you're dead. I thought, Vincent, we need to tell your brother about this. Beth, no, I, 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 I don't remember much. I'm still very disoriented. I, I don't know everything that's happening right now. But one thing I know for certain is that Vincent tried to kill me. Oh. Oh. What? In the kingdom of Morwood, there once lived two brothers, Prince Vincent and Prince Aaron. The eldest of the two, Vincent, was cruel and dark of heart, whilst the younger, Aaron, was filled with compassion and kindness. As the two princes grew older, the king and queen noticed these differences between the brothers. Soon, they began to favor Aaron over Vincent. The eldest became jealous of the attention his younger brother was receiving and started to fear that Aaron would take his rightful place on the throne. One night, Vincent slipped out of the castle and went deep into the forest to find a witch who could curse his brother's pure heart, dooming him to become a rage-filled beast for all eternity. The witch granted him his wish but warned him that if the beast ever let pure love back into his heart once more, the spell would be broken and Vincent would meet his doom. Filled with jealousy, the eldest agreed, ignoring the witch's counsel. She gave Vincent the spell and he returned to the castle, casting it on his younger brother and transforming him into a ferocious beast. The kingdom's soldiers chased the creature from the kingdom believing it killed the young Prince Aaron. The king and queen, heartbroken, died shortly after, leaving Vincent as the sole heir to their throne. But Vincent never forgot that witch's prophecy, or her words of doom. Filled with fear, he hunts relentlessly, desperate to find his younger brother, and slay him once and for all. Vincent, to his own brother. As children, he never liked me. I, I couldn't... I didn't realize his hatred ran so deep. That I could cause this. <laughs> Our entire family has been divided. Not at the fault of your own. Vincent was plagued by greed. He made his choice. He's going to finish me off. And he might hurt you. I... I, I need to get out of here. Prince Aaron. You are Marrowood's truest king. To leave now would to condemn your nation to your brother's rule. And as for Vincent, well, I know he would never harm me. You don't need to worry for that. And... And Vincent? When it's over... Then what? Once it's all over... You won't need to live in fear any longer.
best we can do right now is focus on the potion. Uh, hold on, this, this can't be right. What's wrong? The color of the potion. It, it shouldn't look like that. Uh, oh no. What? What is it? We missed one ingredient. It, it's a common herb. It, it's called chamomile. I just completely forgot to collect it. Okay, okay. Do we have enough time? Yes, I, I believe we do, but that doesn't mean we should dally. Quickly now. Beth, over here, I think I found it. <sighs> Is this what you're looking for? Yes, it is. <laughs> Great work. <laughs> this is wonderful. There's more than enough. Okay, let's hurry back so we can add this to the potion. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Elizabeth! Oh. Elizabeth! <laughs> Are you alright? Elizabeth, stay put for a moment, I'm coming! Quick, behind the tree. It is you, Eliza, dearest. I thought I recognized your sweet voice. Were you running from me? Oh, of course not, Your Majesty. You just startled me, is all. Uh, so, what brings you so far into these woods? Uh, my men and I patrol this part of the woods every day for the beast. Surely you'd know this, since your cottage isn't too far from here. Oh, yes, of course. Forgive my forgetfulness, sire. Of course, I am, after all, a merciful ruler. Speaking of the beast, you know it isn't safe out here with that thing lurking about. What are you doing, dear Eliza? Well, I, I was collecting some herbs. My stores are running a bit low. That's all very well and good, Eliza, but you shouldn't risk your life like this. How about I escort you- Um, sire? What is it, you bumbling baboon? Can't you see? I'm having a conversation. <clears throat> I- I'm sorry, s sire, but we must continue on with the patrol. Your nightly grooming regime will have to be cancelled. <clears throat> <clears throat> Come here, you dear. How many times must I tell you not to speak to me like that in public? <clears throat> Apologies, dear Eliza, but I must take my leave of you. Shame we couldn't continue our chat. <clears throat> it is a shame indeed, sire. Something the matter, sire? Blasted wind, blasted forest! Now I'm starting to see things. Don't worry, sire. We'll catch that beast for sure. A kind sentiment, but not one very reassuring, considering I must rely on you bumbling idiots. 
Also, Peter, mark me if I ever hear you talk about my grooming habits in front of a lady again. The next time we go out hunting, you'll be the one we're chasing. Let's not do that again. Alright, this should be enough. Just a little bit longer and it will be ready. <laughs> we were fretting over nothing. Don't worry. The potion is farther along than I thought. It shouldn't take more than an hour. Then we have all day tomorrow to prepare you for. Beth? Tonight. The blue moon will rise. Not tomorrow. I must have misread it. I feel so foolish. Will the spell still work? It will be close. I think we can do it. out here, little one. It's nearly nightfall. Please, you have to help me. My mom is very sick. <sighs> Calm down, dear. It's okay. What is wrong with your mother? Well, she was just fine yesterday, until she went to bed early with a headache. This morning she seemed alright, until she started heating up and shaking really bad. My mistress told me to send for you after she vomited not long ago. <laughs> I, I tried to get some help, but nobody wanted to visit the forest alone. So I ran here. I'm sorry. Well, will you please help us? Yes. Yes, of course. I'll help you, sweetie. Where do you live? In the main town. All right. Let me gather a few things. I won't be more than a minute. Okay. What about breaking the curse? I can't just leave that poor girl's mother in the state her daughter claims. I'm Marowood's healer. I have to help them. But... Aaron. There will be enough time for us to break your curse. But for now, I need your help. Trust me on this. Okay. Let's go. Mama, Mama, I've brought a healer. Hello. 
My name is Beth, and this is my assistant. Good evening, ma'am. How do you feel? Rather warm. I can't breathe through my nose. <coughs> Looks like an awful case of the flu. Could be pneumonia. Sweetie, can you boil the kettle for me? Bring back a damp rag while you're at it. She's getting a bad fever. Aaron, in my bag there's some cowslip roots. Put that in the water. I'm gonna medicate some tea for her. <coughs> Alright, just relax. <coughs> now this is just a little rag, it's gonna help cool you down. That's it, you can just close your eyes. Do you know where I could find a spoon, little one? Well, don't worry, that cough will leave very soon. You just have a slight fever. The tea is ready. Thank you. Now all you have to do is sip on that tea and have a good night's rest. I'm sure your cough will leave by the morning. You're truly wonderful, Beth. Thank you, kind man. Goodbye, dear. You'll let me know if she gets any better. Alright, you take care. Uh, come along, Aaron. Mama! Did you hear what she called him? Mama? It's the Lost Prince. Nightfall. The brew will be done by now. We'd better hurry. You see, it is simple. Correction. <gasps> I tell you to check the traps thrice, and you check them twice. No, Rattle not this way. Every time you pass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gregory! Oh, what is it now, Gregory? You, in, in Elizabeth. Uh, sorry, Beth, I didn't see you there. Gregory, clean this crap up. Yes, sire. <laughs> Dear Eliza, our tending patients, are we? <clears throat> well, I don't blame you. You do look enchanting in the moonlight, as you do during the day. That's very kind of you to say, sire, and I don't wish to be rude, but I should be getting back home. It is a beautiful night for a quick stroll around town. Are you sure you can't? And who is this? Oh, uh, well, um... Ah, you got a servant! I'm so glad you finally have someone else to do all your hard work for you. However, you could have chosen a better looking one, especially if they have to hide their face. <laughs> he's not my servant, sire. Don't tell me he's your betrothed. No, that's... Enough of this nonsense. You can do so much better than... This. I... Why don't you come with me back to the castle, hmm? You'll be much safer there and we can have a lovely meal together. That's not necessary. Sire, ah, let go of my hand. Please, I'm barely grabbing you. I do not wish to. She said no. Beth, honestly, don't struggle, my dear. You'll thank me. Vincent, I said... No. Oh. I... <clears throat> <clears throat> the audacity. Sire, you got a little something on your face. That will be all, Gregory. <laughs> I... Uh, a thousand pardons, Your Majesty. No, I'm glad. Spine, is it? 
I've been wanting to do this ever since I heard about you. Vincent! <laughs> Stop! Stop! <sighs> Really rather pathetic, wouldn't you say? Where's all your spitfire now, fool? I don't know what it is about you. Something feels familiar. It should. see to it immediately that creature is dealt with. Nothing so vile should be present in the lands of Morrowood. <sighs> Look what this monster dared to do to you, gentle Eliza. A nasty scratch indeed. You tried your best, but there's no helping such an animal. His fate is already sealed. But don't worry, you're safe now, dear sweet Elizabeth. With me. No! No! <laughs> Don't you hurt him, you monster! <laughs> you! Make sure she's looked after. She's obviously in shock. Sir? <laughs> hey, wait! challenge to trap than I originally anticipated. But did you honestly think you could hide from me forever? Little brother? Remember this day, men, for it signifies the revenge for my dear brother, my heartbroken parents. The curse this beast planted on our kingdom will be lifted May their lives not be in vain! <laughs> Many years ago, you escaped from your crimes, but now I can rectify that mistake! Stay with me. I've got the potion. I... <clears throat> Dear Eliza, I think you're mistaken. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Stay with me. 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 Stay with me
Stay back! Stay back, you monster! Me? Eliza, I'm not the monster here. Step away from that thing, it could hurt you. Hang on, hang on, just a little bit more. <laughs> Women, right? <laughs> Too emotional for their own good. <laughs> just hang on. There's no use, Eliza. The beast has been slain. Why? Why isn't it working? It, it, it should be working. No. It, it should be working. <laughs> Eliza, whatever you think that creature may be, you are mistaken. Eliza, this has gone on long enough. Step away from that creature. There's something. There's something I wanted to tell you. And I realize. No, stop her! I love you. Beth, you... you saved me. I would never give up on you. In all my years... Captain? I don't understand. Why are... <clears throat> Let all know. Morrowood's true ruler, King Aaron, has returned. Long live the king. Long live the king. Long live the king! Your Majesties, the threat shall be neutralized. At ease, Lancelot. Ow. <laughs> Arthur, Molly. You two always seem to know where to find us. Wow, Mr. Spine, you look so noble, like a warrior. No, like a king. Uh, that's like the same thing, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> and you look like a princess. 
You're the princess, little one. And his name isn't Spine any longer. It's Eren. You're really Prince Eren? My mama says you were a beast. Did she now? Well, if you're not careful, I might just have to eat you. <laughs> you can't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> you two certainly have a lot of explaining to do. Yeah. Sorry about that, Mabel. Lie to me again, and you'll relinquish your jelly-filled biscuit rights. <laughs> and trust me, sire, you don't want to miss out on those. <laughs> Certainly. I'm not sure. Are they strawberry-filled? <laughs> <laughs> you need to expand your flavor palette, my liege. At least your brother knew how to eat like a pig. Quite messy manners, if you ask me. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Well, thanks for the little chat, but I best be on my way. I always knew you two would make a good pair. <sighs> that curse was a doozy. I don't think I'll be able to look at spells the same again. Sorcery can be used for good, Beth. Like your healing. Perhaps. But just look at what it did to your family. I would understand if you never wanted to see magic again. Yeah, well, your magic's a little different. Hmm. <gasps> look, there! What? There it is again! <laughs> I don't see anything. Yeah. When you turn around, it disappears. What? <laughs> Aaron? What disappears? Magic. It follows you around, I'm certain of it. <laughs> what are you going on about? <laughs> <laughs> you might not believe me, but I see it. I see it. I swear I do. I see extraordinary magic in you. Extraordinary magic, indeed.
No, 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 no,